Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a few random things to the John Deere 4100 tractor that I just got. Um, you may have seen my last video, um, which is just kind of a walk around and review of this tractor, the 4100 that I just got with the 410 loader. So one of the things that I mentioned that we're going to do is um, I was going to get some pallet forks that are John Deere quick attach instead of just the clamp on bucket forks that I've always been using. So that's the first little upgrade that we're going to do. Um, the fork frame just came in the other day and I've got the forks in the back of the property so let's go ahead and start by getting that installed. If it's on there, great. Let's go find the forks. A little bit difficult to get on for the first time, especially because this paint is thick and new and just not a lot of room uh, for them to slide. I did have to grind off a little spot right here well there was a little spot from someone's welder probably or something but other than that they they went right on and i'm pretty excited about having forks on my tractor for the first time so uh, i'm actually gonna go try them out right now moving a deck to the back of the property so we'll see how they work right away So I'm doing a few more things to the 4100 today. Um, I ordered some seals for these cylinders. I actually got four sets. Um, two of them already came, so I've been working on that a little bit, and I'll post some clips in a little bit that you'll see. But as I was working on this, I noticed down here. Now, I'll just say the reason that they sold this tractor, they wrote in the listing, is that the front axle leaked. And if you look down here, and I just noticed this a little bit ago, you'll see how loose those bolts are. Like that thing is almost, it almost looks bent because it's being pushed out because of the weight of the tractor is sitting on the front wheels. See that big gap there? Hard to get the camera in there, but uh, it's actually even missing a few of the bolts. I think it's supposed to have five and I only see two or three. So definitely not gonna drive there anymore now that I've noticed that. I'm gonna go ahead and um, jack the front of the tractor up off the ground and see if I can find some bolts to replace those missing ones in there and tighten those all up. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have the front tires lifted up off the ground a little bit. I just wanna give you a little closer look so you can see what I'm talking about. You can really see how loose this is here now, this axle. If you can kind of see that gap opening and closing just by myself lifting the wheels up a little bit. And these bolts are, well, the ones that I left are literally hand tightened. Look at that. So I gotta see if I can find some bolts to replace the missing ones and then get these all tight. Okay, so I took one of them out just to go look at my hardware and find one that was compatible with the same thread. So I'll go ahead and install this and get them all tight. Make sure they're all snug. And I have seen some people that have had to replace the seals and bearings and everything on the inside of this axle housing. 
so I'm sure that someday in the future I'll be doing that as well. Because there must have been a problem for someone to have taken this apart unless they've just rattled loose with time. It's hard to tell. But uh, eventually I'll probably be taking this apart and getting a new gasket or gasket maker for this. Resealing and new bearings and everything. For now I'm just going to put it together so that it's at least tight and drivable. All right, those are all much tighter now. So hopefully that'll be a pretty good temporary fix until I can get to working on that a little bit more. You know, whatever needs to be done on the inside. That's definitely much better. Now we've got to take care of some leaking cylinders, as you can see right here, for the loader. And here's the 410 loader, as I mentioned. And uh, especially with all this weight on it, it's just dripping all over the place. And, uh, I actually just finished refueling this cylinder right here already. And it's not leaking, so that's good. And I'll kind of just let you guys watch as I reseal some of these cylinders. I won't go into too much detail, but I'll link a great video where you can watch all that if you need to see it more up close how to do all this. All three of the ones that I haven't done yet are leaking all over the place, so. Though they'll definitely be getting done soon. So as you can see, I have one of the cylinders off for the 410 loader. Um, this is one of the bucket cylinders. Although they do use the same seal kit, the bucket and the lift cylinders for the loader. Um, here's the part number for the seal kit. And this comes with everything you need to redo all the seals inside of the cylinder. So I just ordered four of these. And I've already installed one. And I'm just going to kind of film a few parts of myself installing the next one. It's not so much an instructional video, but I will post a link up above and in the description of where you can find a great video on how to rebuild one of these cylinders completely. So make sure you check that out if you need more information. So here's all the seals for the cylinder laid out on the table. These two that come in their own separate bag go on this piece. This black o-ring goes on first and then this thicker yellow seal goes on top of it. And I'll show a picture of that when it's done. And then the rest of these seals go on this piece here in the order that I have them laid out. So this black o-ring will go right here. And then this orange one will go on the groove above it with the black one sharing that same groove. And on the inside, this white wiper seal goes on the top, facing up like this. And this black one goes with the lip down in the middle from the top. So this is the cylinder that I rebuilt and just got it back installed. Um, obviously everything's covered in grease from when I took it apart, but I'm gonna degrease it and wash it maybe tomorrow and uh, then do some tests and make sure that it's not leaking. And I'm going to do the other two in a couple of days when the seals come, but it's exactly like this one that I've already done on camera. And um, now I'm just going to go ahead and check the hydraulic fluid and make sure all that's full. Because obviously the cylinders took a lot when I ran the tractor again. So I'm just going to dump a little bit of fluid in the rear end and make sure everything's topped off. Alright, I think that's about it for this video today, and I'm going to be making a few more about the 4100, so hopefully you'll stick around and subscribe to the channel to be updated when I post future videos. 
Um, next week, I'm going to be getting some new front tires and some other exciting upgrades for the 4100. So, I hope you'll stick around to watch those. Thanks for watching.